This is what I look like, huh? I look like fucking Edward Scissorhands, bro. Hey there, welcome to my channel. If you are new here, what's up? How's it going? And if you're coming back, what's up? How's it going? It's really good to see you again. I hope you're doing well. You see what happens when you subscribe to my channel? You get an extra greeting at the beginning of every single one of my videos, okay? So just press the subscribe button. Don't think about it, just press it. Okay, thank you so much. Folks, I love using my green screen, okay? I love it a lot. I love using it. I have so much fun using it. And if you've seen any of my videos, you're well aware of that. Some people have actually called me a green screen fiend. I've never actually heard anyone call me that. I haven't like read that anywhere, but I feel like someone might have said that. I love my green screen, I use it a lot, but I've been thinking, believe it or not. And I've come to the conclusion that I might rely on my green screen a little too much in my videos, kind of lean on it a little bit too much sometimes. I pour lean on it too much and it's like, uh, the green screen is like, oh, I'm fucked up. But no, I may go a little overboard with the, you know, the effects and the edits with it and everything. And I don't want to rely on that, okay? And I want to fix that, okay? And the only way to fix that is to do a complete and total green screen purge. Like in that one episode of Community when Troy and Abed, uh, they want to be normal so they have the 24 hour weird down in the dreamatorium. My God, isn't tonight Shirley's wedding rehearsal? Look at how we're dressed. Yes, this simply won't do. Let's change into something appropriate for the occasion and be on our way. I agree. Troy and Abbott being normal. So I am challenging myself to make the dumbest, weirdest, most idiotic things I could possibly create with my green screen. Um, I asked on my Instagram story if you guys would send me some uh, suggestions for me to make. I'll take you through the process, filming it and editing it, and I'll show you the final product. It'll be a lot of fun, okay? And if, it, if this video is entertaining and fun and you like it, maybe uh, this will be a series. A guillotine. Okay, yeah, we'll do a guillotine scene. A guillotine. Come out of a butt, like poo. <laughs> Dude, I wish I could, but I feel like that I'd have to show very graphic things and I'd get demonetized or probably just removed off the platform. Green screen yourself into other people's videos like you did a collab. That's pretty funny. Okay, that's a contender. You live in a urinal. That just seems like they're just saying, like not even a suggestion. They're like, yay, stinky boy, you live in a urinal, I bet. Stinky little piss boy, aren't you? For birthday, you eat a urinal cake, huh? Make your own cringy Hallmark movie? That is a good idea too. Poop? You as a gladiator having to fight your centaur self. POV, you're one of the paintings, you, but on in the, the floating Sims. staircase, you're a in Harry Potter. For you yeah. giving birth to you. You need to be inside an Isle Horan's here. Huge, massive penis. Yeah. Okay, so we have a lot. Uh, I feel like I need to, you know, condense it a little bit. Let's do that over, over at my desk, okay? So let's go plan these out. Come along. So I got the guillotine one, YouTuber collab, Hallmark movie, Gladiator fighting centaur. I don't want to just like do them, you know, just be like, that's hey, my head getting chopped off at the end, you know? I want it to be like funny and entertaining, right? So I'm gonna try to make these a little different. I'm gonna go above and beyond. It's gonna be more work, but you know what? It's, that's all good. Um, I'm thinking for the guillotine one, I will, I'll get my head chopped off, but I don't die. So for the collab, I'm thinking, I feel like I need to be put into a video that I like I shouldn't be in, right? I feel like that's the whole joke. <laughs> like the Laura Lee apology video, I'm just in the background like, she's sorry, trust me. <laughs> okay, for now I'll just be put in video where I'm not supposed to be. So now the Hall <coughs> Hallmark movie. I feel like Hallmark movies are all the same, right? It's like a girl who li lives and works in the big city at like a magazine. She moves back to her hometown. She, she doesn't want to be there, but then she meets some guy and they fall in love and she stays in her hometown. That's the, literally the plot of every Hallmark movie ever. I should just do that then, I guess. Okay, so then the gladiator fighting my centaur self. So this is from the uh, man tracker video. They're referencing the man tracker video that I did where I edited myself to look like a centaur. I'll have to find like a gladiator outfit. What do they wear? <laughs> I don't even know, dude. Sandals? I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna try to make a like really like epic like action movie and then uh, something crazy is gonna happen. Trust me, guys. Okay, so maybe we'll, we'll, I'll check back with you guys once I'm done uh, scripting all of these. And so he scripted and script he did. After a few hours of hard work, our good friend Curtis finished the funniest script of all time. Dude, this is gonna take so long to do. <laughs> I regret this already, but it's all good. I'm excited. It'll be fun. Um, I'm gonna start filming tomorrow, so. See you tomorrow. <laughs> okay, I'm filming these green screen things today. Uh, wearing the same shirt as yesterday. All good, and that's fine. I'm, n I'm not looking forward to this. <laughs> and so he filmed, and filmed he did. After a while, our friend Curtis grew fatigued, and he wanted to quit. But then he realized he was creating art, 
and art knows no rest. <coughs> and so he finished filming. And finished filming. He did. And that's a wrap. So I'm doing this guillotine scene right now. I thought I'd just show you guys the process of me editing the shot where my head gets cut off. And I don't really know how I'm gonna edit this yet. I'm just gonna kind of figure it out on the way, which is how I usually do it all the time in my videos. So, oh, upside down. So now we just gotta key it. The fun thing about green screen stuff, like I didn't really, nobody really taught me how to do it. I just kind of figured it out. So I don't really know what these tools do that much. I kind of just like fuck around with them until it looks good. So I guess I need a background for this scene. I'm gonna do, I search medieval village and I, I can never spell that fucking word right. Why do they spell it like that? Oh, we got this one right here. It's got a fucking one of these thingies. Hand holder. They ask you how Hand you are. You just have to say holder. that you're fine when you're not really fine. But you just so now the hard part is just fitting my head through here and having it kind of look real. So bam, that's a little slow. <laughs> the slowest guillotine drop ever. <laughs> look at that. Doesn't look weird at all. Look at how little my head is. <laughs> so now I have all the things like isolated, the head file, the animated guillotine, and my body. Let's see what that looks like. This doesn't look that bad. I mean, it doesn't look good, but it doesn't look that bad. And there you go. That is how you edit a perfect movie quality, Hollywood quality guillotine. I hope you enjoyed that. I'm gonna work on the rest of the sketch and I'll play it once I'm done. Okay, I'm gonna drop the guillotine now. Whoa! Hey buddy, thanks for doing that by the way. Those arms and legs and torso of mine were really starting to piss me off. Ain't no need to thank me, just doing my job. All right, well, I, I guess I'll head out. Oh. <laughs> That's a good, I've never heard that yeah. one before. That's really funny. <laughs> nah, seriously, I might need some help though, cause I, I don't have any legs anymore. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll help you. Whoa. Whoa. Let me tell you about my best yeah. friend. He's a warm-hearted person who loves me till the end. Look at me go. Yes. Let me tell you about my best friend. He's a warm-hearted boy, tell the toy, my up, my down, my pride and joy. People let me tell you about this has been so much fun. It really has. I think I'm falling head over head for you. Me too. All right, where are we off to next? <gasps> oh no, no. I think I'm in the wrong room. Okay, so this next video I'm doing is uh, the YouTuber collab, and I'm putting myself into Thomas Petru guy's uh, apology explanation video about that whole like hype house drama thing. You'll notice in the video, he's you know it's him in the background. There's like this bed, um, so I'm gonna be sitting on this bed the whole time. Okay, the tough thing is just getting the size right, because now I just look like I'm on his shoulder. <laughs> That's pretty much it. So I'm gonna work on this, get it done and uh, I'll, that'll play it when it's done. Enjoy. Hi everybody, if you guys do not know who I am, my name is Thomas Petru, and a couple days yes, ago- Yes, mommy. My old friend Daisy Keach uploaded a video- Oh my god, yes! I returned that video to Blockbuster like 18 years ago. You don't have to keep calling me, okay? Yeah, I'm just at Thomas's right now. Yeah, he's filming some apology video about his eyebrows. I don't, I don't really know, I wasn't, I wasn't listening. Um, you're, you're picking up McDonald's? Uh, yeah, can I get my, can, can I get my usual please? Yeah, yeah, Big Mac, no bun, no meat, no cheese, no lettuce, no pickle, no onion, yeah. Okay, great. And sweet and sour sauce to drink, yeah. Uh, what is Thomas? Tom, Tommy. Thomas, McDonald's. Mommy, McDo my mom's getting us McDonald's, what do you want? Stop, stop, stop talking to the camera, what do you want? Going to do it, I would love to be a part of it. Fucking, oh my god, dude. Okay, uh, he's not, I don't know, just get him a fish fillet, no bun, no fish, no cheese. Okay, okay, I'll, I'll see you in a bit. Bye, bye, mommy. Bye. Guys, he's not wearing any pants. Okay, deep breaths, deep breaths, okay? Good, good. Okay, now push, push. 
Oh. Oh. Oh my God. <laughs> he looks just like me. <laughs> I'm back. Okay, so now it's time to edit the movie trailer, the Hallmark movie trailer. This is probably gonna be the one that takes the longest because movie trailers take a long time to edit. Apparently there's like whole companies that just make movie trailers if you guys didn't know that. And I'm only one man. I think there could be one smaller man inside me controlling me, but I'll never tell you guys that. But I, so I think I'm just gonna show you the one part I'm editing right now where the love interest meets the main girl of the Hallmark movie, okay? Right here I've got this scene, me walking. Looks like I got a rat tail, but it's all good. You guys, we're gonna learn how to do keyframes. Really exciting stuff. So I'm starting closer to the camera, so I'm probably like right here. And then I'm gonna press this little keyframe, this magic keyframe button up here. See this line? So that, that was a starting point at the beginning and this is the end point. So when we play it, it's gonna look just like that. It's like I'm walking, it's crazy. And then we're gonna cut to this scene that I've set up, the background, and then we got this car here. Then I cut out the window so I could put myself in there. I roll up, I roll up. Whenever you call, baby, I roll up. I also think the perspective is off, so I need to flip this. Ah, and that's the cool thing about Final Cut Pro, is that it crashes all the time. And I really like it, and I love it so much, it happens every day. And I wish it would happen more, to be honest. Thanks, Final Cut Pro, for pissing me off all the time. <sighs> okay, so I think I have this scene done. Uh, so let's give it a watch really quick. Let's give it a watch. Here you go, so you can tell the time. Hey, what's a beautiful girl like you doing in a small town like this? My mom died. Does that mean I can take you out? And there we go, dude. Easy as that. I'm gonna spend the, the next three years making this and then um, I'll show it to you when it's done, which is right now. Enjoy. Diane is a beautiful girl living in the big city. So what's a beautiful girl like you doing in a big city like this, huh? Wouldn't you like to know? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I just asked. She's caught up in the hustle and bustle of the New York Stock Exchange, but when a freak accident leaves her mother with no pulse, she's gotta head back to the small town where she grew up for her dead mom's funeral. No Wi-Fi, no shoe stores. What's a gal to do in this town? Things in her small town are a lot different from the big city, but she'll come to learn that small town boys, they ain't that bad. Hey, what's a beautiful girl like you doing in a small town like this? My mom died. Does that mean I can take you out? Critics are raving about this new sexy flick. New York Times says, who let this happen? Rotten Tomatoes raves, I wish I was dead. And the actress who played Gretchen Wiener says, I'm in this movie too. You can't miss mom's funeral to hang out with that country boy. What are you doing? You don't know a thing about me. Leave me alone. I am so happy your mom died. Coming this summer, big city, small town girl, look at this hot guy. Only on Hallmark. Okay, so we're almost done. Uh, this is the last sketch I have to work on uh, and then add some finishing touches on stuff and we'll be done, dude. I'm just gonna show you how, how I'm gonna turn myself into a centaur. Unfortunately, the only like centaur video I could find that's gonna work for this is this one. Okay, it's, it's called mo Uh and it's Momo plus Obama plus centaur. I don't know who made this or why. So the first thing I have to do is cut out so I'm just my torso. Um, and that's pretty easy to do. We just gotta do a quick little mask. We just have to watch the movie The Mask really quick. Okay. So I edited my body onto the weird Momo Obama centaur and immediately realized how terrible it looked. So I needed to change plans. So that looks terrible because we still got the hands coming on the bottom there. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> you know, come to think of it, if I could just get a horse walking, I might be able to just use that because I just had to cut out the head to be a human, right? And so he searched for a horse video to use and find a horse video to use, he did. All I gotta do is just cut this horse's head off and I'll be fine. And so he cut the horse's head off 
and cut the horse's head off, he did. So, now I got a walking horse with no head. I just have to track my body to the horse. <laughs> oh no. I'm a very top-heavy centaur. Just like a chick with giant jugs. All right, guys, we did it. Now, I just gotta show you the finished product. Here is my gladiator scene. Gladiator? <laughs> I hardly know her. Welcome, Gladiator! And who will I be fighting today? Oh, it's not who you will be fighting, but what? <laughs> yeah, that's right, centaurs are real, bitch. Oh my god. I made a promise to my father, Spartacus, to defeat any man in hand-to-hoof combat. Hold on, wait. My, my dad's name is also Spartacus. I, huh. And I made that exact promise to him. Oh shit, I am Spartacus. Well, I mean, aside from the, you know, we do look pretty similar, right? Yeah, I was gonna say. Yeah, and I was gonna nay. Do we have the same dad? Hey boys, uh, this is awkward. <laughs> Hold on, if you're half horse, half human, uh -huh. and your dad is a human, mm -hmm. Then your mom is a horse, obviously. She's a horse. So that means they... Oh, oh god. Okay, easy with the kink shaming, guys. What color are Nile Horan's eyes? Sorry, I'm in here. I think they're like blue. Okay, I'm finally done. It is Friday. 10 p.m. I started filming on Monday morning, so um, this took a while. Was it worth all that time? I don't know. You tell me. But did my experiment work? That's the real question, you know? Was this green screen purge successful? Do I feel more inclined to not use it all the time? No, not at all. <laughs> I feel like this made it worse. This was a lot of fun for me to make, okay? I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did. If you did enjoy this video, please press that like button because believe it or not, one like equals one baby Kurt of your own. I'll send you a baby Kurt. Everybody loves a baby Kurt. But yeah, leave a comment. Let me know what you guys thought of the video. Let me know if this should be a series on my channel, if you want to see it again. Um, and thank you to everyone who sent in their uh, suggestions. They were all great. But yeah, don't forget to press that subscribe button because I make a video every single week and they're so much fun. And as soon as you press that button, you become a valued citizen of Curtistown. And if you don't know, Curtistown is the best place to live in the world and I'm the mayor. So you have to be nice to me. If you want to see the other things I do, you can check the description. Uh, my Instagram, my Twitter, uh, my weekly podcast called Very Really Good. Uh, my Twitch, I'm going live a few times a week, you know, it's a good time. And my merch and everything, I got new merch coming soon, so stay tuned for that. But that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I have to go, unfortunately. Sorry, I gotta, I gotta skedaddle. I have to go murder Mobamator, because I hate them so much.